It's Sunday morning. We're going to cook up what I call a traditional American breakfast. I've been seeing a lot of videos of folks making, you know, breakfast, and hot dogs, brats, burgers, all kinds of stuff on these Blackstone griddles. I don't have a Blackstone griddle, but what I do have is a plow disc from Southwestern Descada. So this is my first time making this kind of uh, breakfast in this uh, plow disc. I hope you'll stay with me. To start out with some bacon and I've got the heat turned down a little bit I've not done bacon in here uh, this is something less than a pound the reason I don't know exactly what it is is because um, as I was getting everything out on the counter you know to bring out here my wonderful German short haired pointer puppy grabbed a big hunk of the bacon and took off with it I'm guessing I probably got about two-thirds of a pound here you can see I just cut the slices in half. I think our heat's just about right. I'd say it's about on medium, medium low. In fact, I might turn it down just a little bit more to cook this bacon a little slow. Gonna push this bacon all up to the side here. We've got some linked sausages. You know, you obviously want to be careful with hot grease, right? Just let them slide down in here. Now what I got some chorizo. Got four pieces here. Now the reason I did this chorizo after the bacon and after the sausage is because I didn't want it to change the flavor of the bacon and sausage. Tell me that don't look good. You can see how that chorizo has already changed the color of the bacon fat and the sausage fat. It's turned to kind of an orange. Doesn't take them too long to cook this. As you can see, the nice kind of a reddish color of this chorizo, it's done now. Let's get it out of the way. Maybe get it out of the way. You gotta let the grease drain off for it to stay up here. Okay, just about got it all out. Now, I'm gonna try those hash browns again that I made the other day. Let me see if I can do this twice in a row. Make good hash browns. Okay. These guys have soaked up this oil pretty good, so I am going to add a little bit more olive oil so that when I flip them over, I don't know how much, maybe a third of a cup. Yeah, that looks like chorizo on the bottom. I don't really think they're burnt. Yeah, they're not burnt. I am going to put even a little bit more oil still. So maybe the time it's all said and done, I put a half a cup in here. And I have turned up the heat a little bit. I would say it was on medium low before, maybe close to medium. Now it's medium to medium high. Now that we've turned them over, I'm going to hit them with some salt and pepper. Just some cracked black pepper here. Again, I don't know the exact amount. Half a teaspoon, maybe, I don't know. Come back in with some kosher salt. About the same thing. You can see the chorizo makes these hash browns that nice orange color. Let's have a look on this other side. They're crispy enough for us. Look at that. Oh, yeah, these are going to be good. I think these are going to turn out pretty crunchy for us. I'm going to give them about one, two minutes. 
start pushing them off the side, and then we're going to get to some eggs. I think we're in good shape on these guys. Let me start getting them up here and out of the way. Now I'm going to turn this heat down way, way low. I mean way low. Okay. I'm going to let this grease cool down a little bit because then I'm going to cook up some eggs. Okay. What I've actually done is turn this thing off so the grease can cool down. And that's actually a little bit too much grease for my preference for the eggs. So I'm just going to take a little bit out uh, and we'll cook with a little bit less grease. And what I've got here are some vegetarian eggs. I don't know if you have the same question I do, but what's a vegetarian egg? Not a good egg breaker as you can see. Now, I'm going to do two different things here. These are going to be for me. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit of this Heaven Made Products Smoky Jalapeno seasoning that they sent me. You know, obviously you don't have to do this. You can just use some salt and pepper, whatever you want. But I want to try this on the eggs. Okay. Get these guys all flipped over. What I am going to do is push down some of that chorizo. And this, these eggs right here. And I'm going to make some more eggs. No jalapeno seasoning, no chorizo in them because my son won't eat anything when it's mixed together like this, hardly. Tell me that's not going to be good. I would say those are done. Let me get them off to the side. Nobody here likes runny eggs, so that's a good thing for us. I don't have to worry about making it where it's runny. Just gonna pop these yolks, let these guys cook. And like I say, I've got this heat turned down as low as I can get it right now. I'm gonna come back in on these eggs and just add a little salt, kosher salt. And again, a little cracked black pepper. And we've almost got this cooked done. The salt and pepper this side, not a lot. You can see these eggs here are about done. In fact, there's a little bit of runniness in this one. Like I say, nobody here will eat any runniness. Maybe cook these guys one more minute. All right, we got everything plated up. I am with these eggs going to try a little bit of this Matooks hot pepper sauce, salsa picante. Um, I like a little hot sauce with eggs. I'll just put it on the side here. Okay. You can see we got, mm, got our hash browns. They turned out pretty good. Sausage. We've got a little of that chorizo, the chorizo and the egg, the bacon. Let's give these hash browns a try. There's what they look like. Hope you can see that in the video. I'm gonna use my fingers here. <laughs> mm. I know some of you watched my video the other day um, where I made the hash browns. I'm telling you, I, this is twice now I've tried it on this plow disc both times. For my taste, they came out perfect. Crunchy on the outside, but still soft on the inside. I think you can cook bacon anyway, to not mess it up. Now we're gonna give those eggs a try with a little bit of that chorizo in them. Let me get just a little bit smaller bite so you don't have to sit here and watch me chew forever. Okay, I am gonna try a little bit of hot sauce on it.
Oh, wow. I mean, we've all had fried eggs. I don't, sit, I don't need to tell you how, what fried eggs taste like. But adding that chorizo to it, I mean, it's like uh, chorizo's good, eggs are good. One and one is not two in this case. It's like three or four. I mean, absolutely delicious. And chorizo by itself is great. Mm. We got those link sausages. You know, I was worried my cholesterol might be getting too low. So now I'm going to you know, get it back up where it needs to be today. Absolutely delicious. Hey, thanks for watching another one of our videos. You know, this is not one of those Blackstone uh, griddles or one of, the other, one of the other brand griddles. But I think, you know, it probably produces a very, very similar result for this kind of breakfast. If you have any questions or comments about this video, I hope you just leave them down there in the comment section. If you're not a subscriber already, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell, and you'll be notified of all of our new videos.